Good afternoon. May I know your full name? My name is Ananya Limbu. Ananya, where are you from? I'm currently residing in Tokha, Kathmandu since my childhood. Do you work or are you a student? Currently, I have graduated my plus two science mm -hmm. and I'm not working. Ananya, I want to know, was science your favorite subject during your school days? Uh, to be honest, in my school days, I wasn't a bright student and science was not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. But after selecting plus two science, mm -hmm. I was quite fascinated by the subject and I was interested in it. Okay. How do you use science in your daily life now? As the study of our country is not quite so pragmatic, uh -huh. I am not utilizing those things which I have studied theoretically, but I am planning to utilize it. What do you think are science measures common in your society? Yes, science measure is quite common in my society. Mm -hmm. By the students opt to take science. Okay, tell me about airlines in your country. How many are there many airlines in your country? There are plethora of airlines in my country, like domestic airlines, like AT Airlines, oh. Buddha Airlines. But there are, unfortunately, there are only two international airports in my country. And have you ever flown anywhere in airplane? Yes, I have flew to flew two times in airplane since my since yes up to these days, and I have flown to New Delhi. And po sorry, uh, can I say again? Yes, please, of course. Okay. Yes, I have flew two times in airplane. Mm -hmm. The trip was quite good and I enjoy it. And are you scared of flying? When I was flying for the first time, I was quite frightened. Uh -huh. But now I am not petrified for flying. Thank you so much. That's the end of your IELTS speaking part one. Now let's move on to part two. In IELTS speaking part 2, you will be given a topic for which you have to talk for 1 to 2 minutes. The topic is you will have to talk about a fashion item that you want to buy. You will have to say what it is, where you can get it and how expensive it is. You will be getting 1 minute to prepare for it. Here is a pencil and a piece of paper for you to make some notes and here is a cue card. Please start making notes. Now you can stop and start talking for 2 minutes. Don't worry about the timing. I'll be stopping you when the time is up. Are you ready to talk for 2 minutes? Okay, ma'am. Please start speaking. As I am a girl, I am really into fashion and style. Mm -hmm. Since I was a child, I really love the international brand products like they have really good perfumes, bags and shoes. The most favorite, my most favorite brands among them is Christian Dior and Gucci. Uh -huh. The products are very high quality and they are very astonishing. Mm -hmm. Products are lavish as well. The bags and bills uh, are so much appealing in appearance. Mm -hmm. We can get these products from the web their personal websites like Dior.com and etc. They are quite costly but they are appealing. So I think it is we, it is quite a good product for the price yes. as the price range starts from dollar three thousand US dollar three thousand and above. The reviews are also quite good. The customers are quite satisfied by the brands. So I really love these brands and I'm looking for shopping from these brands when I'm when I go for overseas to study. Thank you so much. Now let's move on to part three. In part three we are talking about foolish. What do you think? Is your country generally safer for people living there? In compared to other parts of the world, my country is safe for the people living here. Uh -huh. But um, as an individual, I don't think my country is quite safe because in my country, in talking about my country, mm -hmm. it is a male dominant society and women have to face a lot of uh, difficulties like they have to suffer from domestic violence and other different problems so i don't think women are quite safe in my country mainly in urban area what responsibilities do the police usually have police have plethora of responsibilities uh -huh. um, first of all um, the most important and crucial responsibility 
of the police is to safeguard the nation and its citizens. Uh-huh. Uh, police also capture the guilty or the criminals and punish them according to the law. Do camera violate a person's privacy? What do you think? It actually depends upon the situation. If the person is permitted to capture a video or photo, then mm. it does not violate. But if the uh, captured person is uh, not known about the camera, then it is a crime. What problems do people have with the police in your country? The, in currently in my country, people and police are facing lots of problems. As police are working under the influence of government, mm-hmm. those people who are against the government decisions are quite, uh, are, are quite, um, mm-hmm. are quite uh, devastated by the police. Uh-huh. So they uh, sometimes they protest and the police smack people by uh, eating with their rods and etc. Mm-hmm. So I think police and people doesn't have a good relation now. Okay, thank you so much. That's the end of your IELTS speaking test. Well done, your speaking was very good. The good thing about your speaking I found was vocabulary. You tend to use very nice vocabulary in all the three parts. That's the reason you have received overall band score 7. Now there are some areas in which you have to work on. In part 1, though your answer, answers were developed, you could work on your pronunciation because some of the vocabularies or some of the words you spoken were mispronounced. I was I could not accurately catch it up. So in part 1, just work on your pronunciation or else the answer format is very good. Now moving on to part 2. In part 2, I found that your fluency was a bit out of the track. Now there were lots of spaces, there were lots of gaps in, in your part 2. Please work on your fluency. Try enjoy sharing your ideas in part 2. Form a background information, give some plots, add your idea and then conclude it. Part 2 was although good, please work on your fluency. Moving on to part 3 now. Part 3 could be more developed than this because there is a difference between part 1 and part 3 answer. So now try to give more examples in part 3. Try to compare the topic in part 3. Uh, these are the things that you will have to work on. If you could work on these things, I expect that your actual result is going to be very good. Thank you so much for staying in this mock okay. test. Thank you.